It's the masterpiece of the North of Scotland hydroelectric scheme, the Croacan Dam and its power station. And drawing in at the country station of Dalmally, the Royal Train, bringing from Balmoral to officiate on a memorable Scottish occasion, the Queen. Local VIPs, the chairman and other members of the hydroelectric board were in the committee of welcome. And what a day for the school children. A holiday and so close to the Queen. Mist and a rainbow appeared as if to order. Age-old Highland beauty. The dam itself asserted a modern look. A bastion halfway up the mountain. 1,300 feet above sea level, it impounds a head of water to power the turbines. 1,200 feet below where the Queen stood, the water is discharged into Loch Awe. And up again to the dam, it is pumped at night, when the reversible turbines function as pumps. Hewn through the mountain is the road, three quarters of a mile long, to the machine hall, in the very heart of Ben Croacan. Its output, enough for a town of 200,000 people. 1,500 tunnelers worked on the project for six years. How well it merited royal inauguration. A pull of the lever, and the great machines were turning, generating power for the industrial lowlands. The control panels put the whole of the operations at the engineer's fingertips. At 14 million pounds, Cruacan cost much more than thermal power stations, but the running costs will be very much lower. A great achievement. <laughs>